So, hey. Funny seeing you here. Uh, I was just about to play some Fallout. I guess you could tag along, you know, if you if you wanted. <laughs> Let's play the game. Get ourselves a bounty to turn in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got booty butts over the prim. Get us a new quiz. Betty just really has not got the hang of getting out of cars. I, I kind of get it. Hey there. You know what would be cool if this actually had like physics and the seesaw would go down, but I mean, that's probably like basically fucking impossible. Squirrel on a stick, iguana bits, human flesh. You know what they call that shit back in the day? Hot dogs. With New Vegas engine, it's basically impossible. But, uh, that's fine. Hey, hey there, Steven. Hey. So, is Alex dead yet? Dead as a doornail, him and his cronies. Picking up the daisies. Good. Here's a reward, whether you want it or not. I'm oh. getting some very interesting contracts. Come back when you're ready to pursue them. Well, I just happen to be in the market for some work, so. I've got more contracts if you're ready to go. Yep, I'm ready. All right, this next job is in Novak. Over the past few weeks, someone or something has snatched up several children from the town. The abductions always take place at night, and so far there's only one witness, and he's far from credible. His name is Ricky. He's a jet fiend who wanders around Novak doing odd jobs, but is generally regarded as a shiftless buffoon. Nonetheless, dumbass Ricky is the only lead we have right now. See if you can pry some information out of him. The citizens of Novak are just about panicked over this, so get out there and bag the creep responsible. Huh. That interaction made me speak better. I think that sort of thing totally makes sense. That by talking to people feels like that feels like that some bitch over there is staring at me like we got business Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Howdy. You got a stare problem, fella? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I figured you'd react. I am. You know what? I, I don't know why I got a chip on my shoulder. It settled down. A little bloodthirsty. All this killing 
in them crazy dreams. I just don't know what's going on in my life anymore. What do you mean I've changed? I'm still the same old Glenn. It, you know, fixed you up right up right over yonder. The dang Mojave Express. Eddie, you say some weird things sometimes. Well, I mean, you, you're right. Some of these bounties have been, as one could say, uh, morally ambiguous. But it, it's we're living in <laughs> the apocalypse, basically. It, you know, it ain't the time to be quibbling over that sort of thing. We're just fighting to survive. Right, right? You know what? That said, maybe I can do with just some regular work. Yeah, I could, I could find some wonder glue, and uh, yeah, he's not stalker job. I just don't know where to find him reliably. Is the problem? What the hell was that sound? Oh, like a goo. their way into prim like the sound of that at all well whatever it was it was taken care of but nobody got too hurt let's pop on into the Nash region hey there Mr. Nash hey there youngster looking for something special you got anything good for sale sure have a look same old same old looks like always do with some flame of fuel sales magazines always comes in hand. oh some cards that's what I need Yeah. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Want to play a hand? You think you have what it takes, kid? Oh, I have enough. Finally. Am I confident? Hmm. Fuck it. Who dares wins? I'm just gonna go ahead and play the cards I'm dealt. To the best of my ability. We've got a lot of kings. <laughs> Classy of me. Oh wait, these are the ones I haven't added. All right, go ahead and add them all. There we go. Let's play.
Now, you might be regretting this, Mr. Nash. Happen to be a dang old expert. Ah, damn. Uh-oh. This ain't good. I forgot what aces do. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Could just be ones, could be something else Tyler. Uh You can have that rope. something call me out I got a jack in return damn you and them jacks fella a real piece of shit how many of them damn things you got Oh, I got me something special here. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that a full sweep. I got that that one covered. Fucking cock suck. I'm sorry, a lot like you, Mr. Nash. You're a real son of a bitch.
I got him. Yep. Yeah. Freedom and wheat, fella. <laughs> Pay up. Wow, you're good. Give me another game. Uh, you know what? Uh, not not for some time. I need to. I'm a little stressed out after that one. You know where to find me if you want to play again. Peace out. See ya. Well, as I said, I am the best. <laughs> Okay, I did get a little bit pissy there, but I mean, can you blame me? He had like 35 jacks in there. Built a deck that many jacks. Piece of shit. I'm just gonna make the walk over to Novak. I could use the fresh air. Stick the needle where the sun don't shine. That's an old voodoo proverb. I gotta try that next time I shoot up. I'm right in the you, dick. Don't do it. I do not advise that. Those fiend junkies over at Vault 3 have been taking some hits. I say kill them all. I'm trying. Hey there, uh, Ricky. Hey, man, what's happening? I understand you have some information about the, the missing children. Um, it, it was dark. I, I, I can't remember. Just slow down. Try to remember what happened. It's very important. Uh, I, well, um, there, there was this guy and, uh, uh, then, um, Oh, uh, hey, do you have any Nuka Cola? Lives are at stake, Ricky. Focus. Okay, okay. It was dark, and and this guy went running out of town with with one of the kids, uh, uh, thrown over his, um, what do you call it? Oh yeah, his shoulder. Uh, he was carrying this kid off to the west of town. I I passed out after that. I think I'm gonna pass out again. Or you need to stay off the jet. It is, it is, it's ruining your life. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Said he was over this way. Last time he saw the kids. What the hell? Anyhow, why anyone would just see someone dragging kids away and do nothing? Couldn't be me. Mm -mm. All right. So what do we got here? And, oh, damn. I don't, that ain't good. I see you found Thomas. What the hell? I'm afraid he was unwilling to accept the truth. His death was a necessity. I assume you must be some matter of hired gun. Are you here to enact justice? What would a smooth skin like you know about justice? I've heard enough of your preaching, zombie. I'm here for the bounty. Now I'm gonna take your finger. You smooth skins. So headstrong. Oh, children. Huh?
smooth as apple butter. Damn. Cut me up real good. Holy hell. More slots like that and I would have been dust. Taking that finger, and along with it, this freaky ass gauntlet. Poor kids. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't right. Ain't right. Well, let's head on back. You know, while we're here. Something I used to do before I lost my dang caravan dick. I buy out a shop's inventory and then offer up a chance to win their <laughs> win their caps back. Chance to win my my caps back. <laughs> Strange world we live in. Hey there, Cliff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Yeah, I'd like to see what you got. Sure thing. Have a look. Got any cards per chance. Could use that. Screw it. See if we can offer up in exchange. Actually, thanks for that. Great that. Come back soon now. Need to learn a little something about trading. Maybe he's got some key details I'm missing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Uh. Don't, don't touch me with that hand. Uh, anyhow. Sure thing. Have a look. Let's see what you got here. That hunting shotgun choke's looking mighty good. I'd be willing to trade off this here. Uh, let's say a grenade or two. Yeah. You buff out. So, <laughs> down to the old trick. You want to play a hand? A fellow enthusiast, huh? That's great. Yeah. Let's play. You, you play a lot then. Uh oh. I'm all in. Yeah, let's go. Now here's my tactic. Let them load up. On the uh oh, you let them load up on one stack, and then you get two stacks prepared at the same time. <laughs> Works every time. He is not that on the stack. Ah, oh, he blew. Which is unfortunate. He 
be like this. He's gonna stack up and watch me win it all, baby. <laughs> the old rug poop, I call it. <laughs> huh. Wonder where I went wrong. Let's try that again. Yeah, let's play again. I've got a good feeling about this hand. As I said, you let them stack up on one in particular and you make it move. <laughs> uh oh. Damn it. Oh, watch this one. <laughs> well, we'll set that one up for later. But I know exactly what to do. And watch this. <laughs> You're never going to expect it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. New Vegas here. You're all so great, and we're going to keep. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, shit. Well, we can fix that this way. With Victor go the spoils. <laughs> huh. Wonder where I went wrong. Let's try that again. Hey, I know, I know when I'm pressing my luck, pal. I'm all done for now. Shucks. Well, let's do it again sometime. See you later. Come back soon now. <laughs> they call me the dang old master, Eddie. Yep, he never saw it coming. <laughs> so, where are we off to now? All right, we got to turn this one in. Eventually we'll go back to Joe Tully, maybe. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, and they got but shit to say. These damn things keep on coming from. Like they're growing out of the damn soil. Look at them. They basically got their own little crew. One dude. Oh, all we're missing is a dog. We can get it. We can get a dog, Eddie. You want a dog? We can get a dog. Hey there. hey there, Steven. Did you find out who took the children? 
Yes, I did. A dang old ghoul kidnapped and ate one of the kids. Turns out the other two turned into ghouls themselves. Outstanding job. I hate zombies, particularly one that's a self-righteous child killer. Here's a bonus for killing that freak. I'll see you later. You know, I'm starting to agree with you on that one. Every dang old ghoul we've encountered has been kind of a sick freak. There's another contract ready, and it pays well, my friend. Ready to get after it? Yep, I'm ready. Good. This is another investigation, and our client is willing to cough up mucho dinero to see this thing resolved. Folks have been disappearing on the road south to the Mojave Outpost. For the longest time, people attributed it to the Rad Scorpions, but our client is beginning to suspect human involvement. The abductions are strange. There is little theft of property and never any ransom notice. Several of the missing wastelanders mentioned their search for a reputed oasis in the Mojave, which is pure horseshit. In all likelihood, these are probably just natural casualties of the wasteland. Regardless, our client wants results. Good luck. All right. But we got to do a little detective work. Eddie, I'm sure you can help us in that regard. Oh, yeah, I believe in you, buddy. Need to be making our way over at the Mojave Outpost, they call it. Ah, statues up yonder. Hey, what if we follow this crew? Well, howdy, y'all. Hey there. Hey there. Need anything? Well, sure. I'd like. Got something to sell. I can take a look. Sure. Here's what I got. Take that bobby pin. Uh, that's about it. How may I serve you, master? Appreciate it, y'all. Take care of yourself now. Oh. Almost forgot. Dang it. It's the long tube I need. Yep, I'm thinking I hate ghouls now. Wait a minute. If ghouls is people... Nah. I can't can't be just regular people. It gotta be something else going on there. No, no. There ain't no way. A human man or or woman gonna turn into that thing. No way. Get real. Got ferocious wildlife. Easily dispatched. You know, I don't like those things, but I do like how they, they, they blow up like a damn fruit. 
New Canaan. Hey, one of them dang traveling caravan fellas talking about Canaan. Oh, here's that bucket of paint. Well, it's short on bottles. We we'll pick some up. Oh, what do we got here? One of them, one of them bright fillers. What's it doing all the way out here? Yeah. Pop in in this ruin here. What's going on? You know how fucked up this country is. We once elected a guy named Dick Richardson president. That's right. The guy's name was literally Penis Cockboy. And we thought he'd make a good leader. <laughs> penis Cockboy. <laughs> That's... Well... Oh! Hello, ma'am. What are you doing here? You, keep your hands where I can see them and we won't have trouble. And hands are up. Calm down now. I don't mean you no harm. That's exactly what a raider would say. It's like, hey, can you help me out? I got this cut on my hip and then boom, party's over. I'm not falling for that again. All right, hey, it makes sense. You are being cautious. Uh, let me just ask some, some questions, some regular, what, what sort of medical training do you have? Well, I study medical terminals and books from all over Nevada. As for field work, most of my experience comes from all the times I've been robbed. I've performed six surgeries on myself in the past three months, and I've got the scars to prove it. Self-surgery? Well, that, is, that has got to take quite the... quite the discipline. Uh, tell me, you, you sell anything? I've got chems, but I'm not responsible if you try and abuse them. The instructions are on the packages, and they're very clear. Of course, if you do abuse them, come here if you need a detox. Well, all right. Could always use some right away. And root, very useful. Uh, in exchange, you can have this uh, 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 laser doohickey. Oh, uh, you said you've been ambushed lately. Anything I can do to help? I'm just trying to make a living, same as you, same as everyone. Before, all I wanted was to treat the sick and make a few caps, but it turns out some people are just sick in the head. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's true. But uh, what do you mean in particular? You know, bonkers, nutty, cuckoo for cola. They come by and ask me to fix them, but they don't pay. In fact, they steal, and some of them aren't even ill. I'd tell you their names if it weren't for goddamn doctor-patient confidentiality. Well, I mean, you could you could tell me their names. Uh, uh, I believe the Hippocratic Oath is pretty specific on what what you could say. But it's an oath. You can't break an oath, or else what's the point? I don't trust you. All right. So uh, why'd you, why'd you become a doctor anyway if you're so apprehensive? For the caps. The wastes are dangerous and there's a need for doctors. Stim packs are great, but they can't heal everything. Actually, I've seen them heal quite a bit. As a doctor, I'm obliged to tell you I disagree with your opinion. But I encourage you to purchase all the stim packs I have in order to prove my point. I think I might be addicted to something. It's probably from carrying around too many caps. Those things are a magnet for germs. Give a hundred to me and it's a cure and a vaccine. Uh... Sure, yeah, okay, pack, patch me up. This will only take a second. Well, that's a lie. It'll probably take all night. But it's not my fault you can't lay off the chems. All right, well, thanks, Doc. Don't forget to tell your friends about me. I don't remember what I got addicted to, but apparently I did. 
Don't mind if I take that, do you? You didn't see that. Or that. Well, I'll be making my way out. Good luck to you. Wish you will. I'm on to this task at hand. Eddie, sensors up. I'm gonna be tracking down some sort of kidnapper or something. What do we got? Hey, stuck right up to me. Eddie, I get it. There's hostiles. Okay, I'm right here. Huh. Marcus pointing towards the middle of the road or something. Might be a body. Not a body, just a disembodied hand. Uh oh. Seems to be a map. Place marked shelter. Huh. Ooh, free duct tape. I always use that. Get your head on, boys. Could be an ambush. I'm sure you covered my back, Eddie. Ain't too worried about that. But we might. Oh, what do we got here? Mighty die. Sort of pre war bunker. You've discovered a bunker filled with food and numerous amenities. Strange departure from the hostility of the wastes. You catch a scent of Brahmin steak, apparently fresh off the grill. As your appetite surges, you hear the distinctive crackle of an intercom down the steps. Huh. Abundance of food? That a damn camera? Damn, ain't this place fancy. Not a surprise. Need some security. Got got all this good stuff laying around. Let's see what's on this intercom down here. Hello, traveler. Welcome to my humble abode. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. So who are you, mister? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Mago, at your service. So why are you doing this? Ain't it, ain't it a bit reckless to invite any old stranger inside? I'm doing this because I've suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I have felt terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations. And in the course of time, I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. Mister, you're using a, a whole lot of ten-point words that I'm just going right over my head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that seems very noble. Oh, stop it. You're too kind. Please, enjoy a hot meal. It's the least I can do. When you're ready to leave, just speak over the intercom. Uh, well, you know, I kind of like to leave now. I hope you enjoy the rest, friend. What can I do for you? Uh, you were very gracious to allow us in, but I really must be going. I got a, I got a job to do. You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. What? <laughs> what? Whoa. Huh? Ah, 
Ah, you are awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. Now what the hell is going on? You're in a cell in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. You're a cannibal, aren't you? You ate him and you're gonna eat me. Well, you possess copacetic powers of observation. Yes, I'm a cannibal and a long-lived one, thank you. I'm rather proud of that fact. Listen, there is a higher power in this world. You gotta know that deep within. All this gonna come back to you one way or another. I've been capturing and eating pretty fools like you for decades. What makes you think you're any different? Take a look at Bob over there. He was a spirited lawman from town, hell-bent on finding his brother's murderer. A few nights ago, Bob bashed his head in against the floor in order to avoid the fate of his brother and so many others. Where's the justice in that? By every indication, Bob was an honest, brave soul who died with pride. Yet, I'm still standing here. Don't talk to me about justice. In a few minutes, you're going to be silent, meaningless fodder for my survival. There's your justice. Huh. Oh, for cocky? Dear Jane, I doubt this note will ever reach you. I was arrogant to think I could just strike out alone and make everything right. I failed so many things. I just wanted to succeed for once. Eric was always better than me. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I was almost happy when he went missing. It showed everybody that he was human. And now they had to rely on me. I went from being an inept deputy to the sheriff overnight. It looked for a minute like we had a final, we had finally found the chance to live our dream, thanks to chance. But here I am, stripped and freezing in this goddamn bunker. I had been wandering for days and I couldn't believe my good fortune in finding this sanctuary. This sick old bastard gassed me. I saw what he did to Eric, and he's going to get me the same way, and he's not going to get me the same way, at least not if I have anything to say about it. I'm sorry everything happened like this. Help all I live him. Please don't tell him about us just yet. If you ever get this letter, just know that my last thoughts were of you, and that it was quick. Love, Bob. P.S. When Paul is old enough, please tell him that I'm his father. He may never understand, but he deserves the truth. Hey. Oh. Oh. Better cracking this side. Cracking the code. We're almost in. Why, sir? What he didn't take was my integrated. What are you thinking, Mago? Uh oh. oh, it's a good thing I saved my appetite. Come on, sucker. Eddie! Thank you for saving me, buddy. Get him! You insolent This, uh, what do you call it? Barrel. 
<laughs> I knew I could have count on y'all. Gems are a bonding force. They're the universal language spoken by the people of all creeds and color. Doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. When the words shovel through our bloodstreams, we know each other as kin. I don't know what you mean by that, but thank goodness y'all over there. It's all my life flash before my eyes there. Oh, and moly. Good thing I have my integrated bionics. Anywho. Most certainly put a monster out of commission here. Sick freak was eating people. I'm guessing he gassed y'all too. What actually? Eddie. Why? Why more? You know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. This poor fella's finally avenged. Oh, he had himself a knife too. Could he use that? Didn't need to. Turn this sticky situation into a profitable one. Thank goodness for that. Ooh. It's a good thing to put all my gear in one convenient place. <laughs> uh, that's fucked up. this ain't drugged wine. Anyway, since y'all didn't watch my back in there, y'all watch my back while I take myself and I sleep in this, in this nice queen size bed. No, I do not feel She's weird. She's got heartaches by the number and cold sores on her hip. From sucking on the barrel of the big iron on his hip. Okay. Once again, you so show your silly nature. Oh, he didn't take the food away, which means we got access to all of it. The Lord, sir, the good Lord provides. It's harder stuff than I expected. Well, I'm sick of this place. Let's head out. Well, got out of a tight spot there. Guess he never expected the man he captured to be a wasteland wizard. Yeah, fireball. <laughs> Here we go. What's that Fireball! Bam, sorry, Vinny. Deliver it up. Yeah, it's still gonna go in the lockpick. You know what? Throwing back is pretty good. I'll freaking take it. Bam. Big ass bugs.
Ooh, ropes. Got here. Backpack. Ooh, a new survival guide. I'll take it. Got their stuff in there I don't already know. But I'll take a look. Mm-hmm. Where we at now? Oh. Uh yeah, I'm pretty good at surviving in the waste. You could say I'm one of the best. Yes, sir. And no. As an example of being the best at survival. I survived just about everything. <laughs> That's true. It's, it's true. It's a fact. Anyhow. I'm going to end this episode here. See you guys next time. Where we continue with bounties, maybe. Maybe we do something else. I'm looking for ideas, so. Maybe drop a comment. Hey, got an idea for something we should do. Gotta start putting Glenn's life in risk, or else what's the point, right? Anyhow, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.